Hello and welcome back to DXV today. Now we've been talking a lot about food, but it's not just about that. With the weather cooling down, there's gonna be a lot of events and some amazing musical concerts happening right here in the United Arab Emirates. And to talk all about it, we've got Thomas Overson in the studio, the CEO of All Things Live. Thomas, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now you can expect us uh, to be asking you a lot of questions and trying to get tickets from you because we have some fantastic artists coming up. We're all very excited. Who are you most excited about? Um, I'm just excited about kicking off an amazing autumn season. Um, on Friday the 13th, we have Kiss coming to town. Oh. And it's at Coca-Cola Arena, so it's an opportunity to see a legendary band for the very last time performing in one of the best music venues that we have in the country. So that's just, uh, that's amazing. Um, then later in October, we have our action-packed uh, weekend. October 27th, we have Khalid. Yes. Um, taking his urban and soulful set to uh, Coca-Cola Arena. The next day we have Macklemore. So we're turning it into a thrift the job. The ceiling can't <laughs> hold us. Exactly. And um, then on November 4, we have uh, Brian Adams. Nice sold out. Up. So I don't know if I'll be seeing you guys there. Yeah, I mean, endless. Do you hang out with these guys? Sorry, this is just a personal <laughs> note. Like, are you, are you, to, are you having dinner? I mean, I'd like to have dinner with Mac Lamore. I mean, <laughs> yeah. what's the deal? Do you do you get to like actually meet these people? So, yeah, I mean, in in general, uh, in slightly different from perhaps elsewhere when the artists tour, they end up having two nights in Dubai, and of course we look after them. We have partners on on some of the events like uh, Dubai Calendar and Coca Cola Arena, and everyone makes sure that the artists are well looked after might be a dinner, might be a, a trip to some of the sightseeing spots in town, etc. And does every single person in your life try to butter you up like I did earlier in the show to get free tickets? Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> would do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm sure you'll find out it works. So, yeah. Oh, it works, yeah. good to know. All yes. right, all right, but, but, but let's, oh yeah, please go no, on. No, I'm so excited because we've got tickets for Brian Adams on 4th of November because it's our wedding anniversary actually, oh, so amazing. perfect timing. Very, yeah. very exciting. Was that summer of 69? <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually met a little bit later okay, than that, that's... actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be playing that for you anyway, I'm sure. No, I love what Thomas Officer has to say, but what I'm more interested to know is who would Thomas would rather see performing in Dubai, would wish to see coming to perform in Dubai? Ooh, wish list. Oh, there, there's still a few artists that haven't played here. Um, if I announced it now, my competitors would uh, beat me to uh, getting on the phone you trying can, to you can to make tell us booking. we'll take it out in the edit don't yeah worry. yeah you can so, tell us i mean there's there's quite a few artists that uh, i would love to see here we have um end of this month we are announcing two really big shows in dubai in january um and they're, they're very big so we're going back to the big outdoor shows as well and I, i'm sure everyone like thirty thousand uh, every night, yeah, so this is a, a very big artist. Now, Thomas, I'm seeing so many famous names, so many big names, all in like a two, three month period. And I feel like I've been here for five years and we've always had amazing artists. Eminem's been here, for example. But I don't think I've seen so many packed together so tightly. Is the industry booming here in the UAE and why is that? Yeah, I mean, there's because there's some, there's great audience, there's great uh, event organizers, there's also increasingly great venues. And it's just becoming, a regular stop on, on a tour. In years back, perhaps an artist wouldn't consider Dubai till after a tour had been rolled out and as a last stop. Now uh, uh, Abu Dhabi and, and Dubai are part of, of the planning. So that's why more shows come. Yeah. Do you think with all of like uh, the development that's happening in Saudi Arabia, for example, do you think that is going to begin to start Middle East do tours and the UAE could actually benefit from those type of well, uh, tours? UAE will definitely benefit from what's coming into Saudi. And there will be artists that can play four or five stops in the Middle East because of two or three shows in Saudi plus definitely one in the UAE. Amazing. What's the most bizarre request you've had from one of the entertainers Ooh. that you can talk about on air? Yeah, I mean, it, it'd probably be bad style to talk about specific artists. And honestly, the requests are not as crazy as everyone think. Uh, I've never been asked to fish out the green M&Ms from, from a bowl <laughs> of M&Ms. So. But we've had artists, uh, that were very precious about their voice or perhaps their, uh, their uh, tan. So we've been asked to uh, black out the windows and put humi humidifiers under the beds and stuff like that. But honestly, most of the requests we get are, 
are linked with them being able to do the best performance, which ultimately is what everyone would want. So, so I went to Trevor Noah this week and it was absolutely fantastic. It was it 10,000? How many seats are there in the Coca-Cola arena? Every single one was taken. Yeah, there yeah. was a full house. Yeah. yeah. So w what advice do you have for concert goers? We found out, a, you know, we found out about a performer, what tickets, what a, anything, getting there early, parking, whatever. Something that, a mistake that you think a lot of people make that you would advise. But the fact of that particular venue is in City Walk. It's so convenient to get to it. Uh, there's lots of food and beverage outlets around in the venue itself. You can, you can get, so that's probably the ultimate fan experience, which is why um, we have Kiss there next, next Friday to give people that arena experience. But in general, it's always good, obviously, to come early, um, uh, enjoy even the pre-main act entertainment if they're support artists, etc. All right. Well, thank you so much, Thomas. It's always a pleasure seeing you over you. many, many years. Now, Fadis, I'm shifting the spotlight over to you for DXB in 60. And I'm going to go ahead and shift that over to Samantha because we want to get to know you in 60 seconds with DXB in 60. And we're going to start the clock for you in three, two, one. What is your go-to place for comfort food? I'm going to pick Mythos, actually. The most expensive restaurant that you've dined at? In the world? In the world. In du in no, in Dubai, in Dubai. It's Heston Blumenthal's restaurant dinner. Okay, top three chefs in Dubai. Gabriella. Of course, Gabriella. <laughs> well, actually, I'm going to pick the three that are in my three chefs dinner next week. You have Reef Otman, who's the host. You have Kelvin Chung from June's. And we also have consultant pastry chef, Ryan Harris. This is a tough one. What's the best dish you've ever had? Ooh, that is very, very tough. But I'm going to go back to my roots, to Greek food, and I will pick gleftigo, which is slow roasted lamb shank. And who is the most interesting person you've met in the city? You, of course. Dima, my co-host. <laughs> well, time's here. up. I think we got to know you. You actually had answers. I thought you were going to be really, find it really difficult to say some of that stuff. Thanks, Samantha. Thank you. Samantha Ward, thank you very much for being with us on the show today. I must say, you were probably the, the main food course on the menu here today on this <laughs> episode. Did I make you hungry? Oh, <laughs> very filling, to be very honest. Well, that said, of course, uh, this food menu is not done yet. We're going to go for a break and we'll be back. And trust us when we say you want to be. See you in a bit.